How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Operator Mastery. I haven't done one of these in a quite a long time. The last one I posted was at least three weeks ago, so it's been a while since I posted one, but that's because of the new Operation Shadow Legacy all coming out. But since I've posted one, we have gained over 20,000 subscribers. So for all of you who have never seen one of these, this is really more beginner oriented or just people that haven't really played said Operator, which in today's video, it's gonna be Wamai. But if you already know how to play the Operator, then I understand not all this information is going to be valid. I would skip to the part where I go into game and that's where I kind of show some advanced placements on said gadget, said operator, just some more advanced tips. At the beginning, I'm just giving more basic tips and such. So it's going to be formatted in the same way per usual. We talk about weapons, then we talk about the gadget and just general talk about the operator and then we hop into game. So we're going to start with the weaponry. So your two primary weapons, you have the AUG A2 and the MP5K. Both of these weapons are pretty, uh, pretty solid. The AUG has a higher damage but a lower fire rate while the mp5k has a lower damage higher fire rate so before shadow legacy i would pick aug a2 all day but now the mp5k is getting that 1.5 times so if you're confident in your headshot and aim mp5k all day you have a higher fire rate and a better scope while if you aren't really and you like body shot or you get a lot of body shots aug a2 is probably for you a higher damage is probably going to be better off for you as for the other attachments they're pretty standard for me you'll see them all here before the aug a2 i have a weird thing with loving the reflex on it just something about it it really just helps me hit headshots with Aug A2 otherwise I kind of struggle with it with just a normal hollow as for your secondary you're going to want to go with the Karatos 357 this thing does 78 damage so there's no reason to pick it over the P12 and then you usually want to go with a deployable but you also have the choice to go in barbed but for the most part as will my you're usually more so anchoring or shallow roaming so a deployable shield will do wonders for you if you are trying to fill that role so now for the gadget this gadget's a little bit interesting because it takes a lot more skill than a jaeger gadget the jaeger just destroys grenades and stuff it's ads is all it is but wamai has the magnet system which instead catches the grenade stuns whatever and drags it wherever the magnet is so it needs to be strategically placed in good positions where it won't hurt your team if you screw up the placement you could potentially destroy your own deployable shield destroy evil eyes destroy traps destroy everything really any gadget you could destroy if you place your magnet in the wrong spot so i'm going to show more of that whenever we get into a gameplay but just keep that in mind keep that in the back of your head anytime you're playing wamai well, think about where you're throwing the magnets don't just throw them over doors and basic spots like that so as for his magnets he gets one at the start of the round and they generate a new one every 40 seconds and he can have up to five so he'll have up to five magnets which can in theory destroy five projectiles because each magnet destroys is one projectile maximum. So a lot of people would wonder why would I even pick him over Jaeger? Well, there's a few things. I like his deployable shield. I like his weapons. Now Jaeger has good weapons and he also has barbed wire. So that's good. But the flexibility of where you're able to place your magnets is really the thing that puts it over. You're able to put them in places that could potentially backfire on themselves. Like if a magnet's in a good spot, then it might end up actually stunning them themselves instead of you. So those could be some big things. And as for his gadget, aside from frag grenades and stuns, it caps so much more than that basically anything that goes airborne it'll capture it'll capture uh, the air jabs from nomad bolts from capiteo zofia anything coming out of zofia ash cali ying fuse gridlock thatcher anything around along those lines anything that's thrown it'll catch and destroy wherever the magnet system is so we're gonna hop into the gameplay but last words on jaeger versus wamai jaeger overall is an easier operator you just put your ads down you walk away wamai however i believe is more rewarding once you actually are are able to learn where you should be placing magnets now this does require a little bit of map knowledge so brand brand new players maybe don't pick wamai but once you even have just the slightest idea of where people push from where people are usually throwing grenades from you'll definitely know where to put the magnets so let's hop into a private game now or a custom game now and i'm going to show you guys some tips more advanced tips with wamai all right, so right when you spawn in, you're going to have your first initial magnet. So right when you're spawning in, you can do whatever your thing is, you know, reinforce your walls. So I just want to want to go over like the standard walkthrough of what I would do personally if I were to um, be playing this exact site. So this is the new site, Master and Office up here in uh, the new chalet. So the first thing, you know, do your reinforcements. So boop, boop, right? Do however much you need. But you only have one until 40 seconds or five seconds i guess is what it is um, depending on the preparation time but the first things you want to do is you want to get to where you're, you're going to put your furthest magnet away because it the furthest one needs to get placed down first because, well, uh, for obvious reasons. But if I'm gonna put one outside, say I say I'm gonna put one, uh, yeah, I don't, 
I don't know where exactly I would put one. I would probably put one in the seal right here. That's a pretty discreet location. But theoretically, you want to put it somewhere where this magnet is actually going to have a chance of catching something. Because if someone comes to this window and they try to throw a grenade in, this magnet's going to catch it. Now, while this magnet kind of is placed in a doinky spot because of uh, how it just landed, but if you could get it into a good spot, its range covers this window and this window. Obviously, they see it better at this window. But you want it somewhere where they throw it, and then it's going to actually come back at them and stun them, grenade them, whatever, make them actually have to change their path, slow them down, etc. But that is where one uh, magnet should always go. It should always go outside or just somewhere where there's going to be nades thrown. Another example of one that is specifically on this map is if you go over here, right? You could put a magnet anywhere over here. You could put one here. You could put one down here. Just put it somewhere where the nades will catch. I would put it down here, actually, but I was just throwing that for demonstration purposes. But something like that will catch the nades and bring it outside. Because your goal is not to put them all by the walls, right? If I put them like that, this grenade is going to get thrown in, and it's going to zing over to here. So if I have my deployable shield, like so, well, that doesn't really help, does it? Because, look, this, <laughs> this magnet is going to catch it and zing it straight to your um, straight to your shield. Now, as you're getting more and more and more and more of magnets, you're gonna wanna put them in places that are definitely more discreet. You're gonna wanna be putting them in high spots, just somewhere away from your, your gadgets. Because if you have a Maestro Cam here, say, per se, you don't wanna put the magnet here, you would instead wanna put it up there so it catches it and shoots it up towards this clock because, well, the clock can get destroyed, but you don't want your Maestro Cam to get destroyed or Echo Cam or whatever it is, you know, Valkyrie Cam, anything. You don't want the magnet to actually backfire on you. So the best thing is to always put them out of the site. So here is a pretty popular spot whenever pushing master and office. So putting them in these corners where they're really discreetly placed, well, that's going to prevent them from being able to throw grenades in through these windows and up as well as if they throw grenades here. But if it's anywhere in this radius, all right, so if it's anywhere in this radius, it's going to catch it. So if I if I'm over here as a ace player and I shoot my thing way too high, it's going to catch it and zing it straight to the roof. And that ace is now toast. And that could be used for anything. There's also really good examples here in the garage on this map. Uh, maybe I could show you guys that. I'll show you an um, example there of the garage. We're going to run down all the way to the garage. And I want to show you how powerful this is against like throwable ace and stuff like that. Nomad jabs. Just, um, just in general. Because if you're at, at this garage, right, pre-round, um, prep phase, and you come up here. Alright, so once you're out here, you can come out here and throw your magnet somewhere where it does have the chance of catching an ace. If you're able to burn utility with your Ramai, that is a huge deal. So there's so many ways to play Ramai, and that's why I think it's so much different than Jaeger, and it's hard to compare the two. If you're comparing them just for destroying grenades and such, then, well, yeah, Ramai is not as good as Jaeger because Jaeger can destroy more than Ramai. Additionally, though, like, Wamai has so much more versatility. You could be placing things anywhere, and it's going to catch at least five projectiles if you place it in good spots. Like, the likelihood of them seeing something, if it's, like, right here, is very slim. They're not going to turn and look this way. They're going to turn and look towards the door. So whenever they throw their grenade, whenever they shoot a Zofia, whatever they do, whatever they throw in here, it's going to shoot and end up actually damaging them. Same thing goes for this example, right? I'm, I'm here. There's no way I can see this magnet if I'm um, outside of this window, of course. If I'm outside of this window and I throw something in, well, it's going to shoot up to the roof. That's just how powerful the magnet system actually is. You can counter so much. You can counter a lot of people's primary gadgets. Zofia, Ash, you could uh, Nomad, the hard breach gadgets. So that's my Operator Mastery on Wamai. Hopefully you learned a thing or two, especially if you have never played Wamai. You probably thought he was always an ADS player. He's not really an ADS. He's more strategic than an ADS. While it's still can be used as that like in examples like this just take an account for the other things i showed you like destroying ace um nomad just putting it in strategic spots and remember this 1.5x is a big deal because now you can potentially actually spawn kill or spawn peak because you actually have a scope that's able to 
I guess, compete with other scopes. And then you come back to site, you throw the rest of your magnets, and you have a deployable shield to anchor down. So, well, mine's a solid operator. Hopefully, you guys learned something, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you want to see more of these. The poll a few days ago did say, or a lot of people did say, that they want to see more tips on the channel. I mean, I understand that's where the roots really came from. That's where I got my main following is from tips. So, I'm going to do more, of course. But I just don't know if I want to do more operator masteries or just different tips. So let me know what you guys want to see. And I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.